Since NeoVim 0.5, I've been using Telescope for all my file finding duties. So when I want to uh, find a file somewhere, I use Telescope. When I want to switch buffers, I use Telescope. And when I want to grep for a particular string, I use Telescope. And it's been an absolute work of horse for me. And I also use it for things like getting spell suggestions um, in a nice little window there that I can select from. It's been rock solid for me and made me incredibly productive. Nothing bad at all to say about Telescope. On the command line, I use FZF, which is short for Fuzzy Finder. And I use that typically for things like swapping to other um, folders and quickly changing into that particular folder in the terminal. And you can also use it for things like um, fuzzy finding folders that are within that particular thing that you're already in. FZF, incredibly useful just on the command line. More recently, I became aware of FZF Lua, which is an implementation of FZF directly in NeoVim. There's ways of using Telescope where you use FZF under the hood, and that's what I've been doing. But I was interested in to see what this was like as a file picker, FZF Lua, just simply because it's it means I could potentially not have to use Telescope at all. I'm already using FZF on the command line, so I could utilize it in NeoVim as well, perhaps get a, a slightly more consistent experience. Everything that you can do in Telescope, um, you can do in FZF Lua. That's been my experience. So I'm just going to show you now how you would migrate from Telescope to FZF Lua and the comparable commands for each. So I'm using Lazy for my config plugin um, duties. So I'm just going to add FZF Lua to that and remove Telescope. So the first thing I'm going to do is just comment out all my Telescope um, plugins there. I'm going to add in FZF Lua. I'll just point out a couple of things that I've changed here. I've switched off the file icons, which are on by default. You get a nice little icon for each different file type at the side. I've found when I use these file pickers, it doesn't actually add to my cognitive understanding of the list of files that I'm looking at. So there's also um, an appreciation that the file icons add a tiny little bit of speed um, penalty to using the file finder. So I've switched those off. I've switched them off in Git, the file icons, the color icons, everything. I've just turned the icons off. But the default is without any of those things, um, you use just basically this require for FZF Lua and you're away. So first things first, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna update lazy. And you can see there, it's telling me I need to clean out the telescope ones and install FZF Lua. So I'll do that. I'll do X to clean out the telescope and I'll do I capital I there to install FZF Lua. So I'm going to exit out of there, do a restart, come back in, and you can see at the minute my mappings for telescope are obviously not working. I've not set the new mappings up. So across to the mappings file here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the, the FZF Lua equivalents, and I'm just going to comment out the telescope versions. It might make it a bit simpler to, to see the comparable um, commands there. Now, it's very, very simple to swap the vast majority of commands that you're using in Telescope into FZF Lua land. And you can see here, just like with Telescope, where you'd have dot find files, there's an equivalent in FZF Lua, which is dot files. So the vast majority of these are exactly the same. You know, you go from dot marks to dot marks, it's hardly any difference. Keep the description there just so things like which key um, can bring up uh, you know, the little bit of information about each of your shortcuts if you forget them. So the only thing that I would say is a bit different, as you can see these two here are slightly more verbose. So with telescope, we get our little cursor relative pop-ups like that, but with FZF to get the same kind of cursor relative box like that is a little bit more work. So let me just show you the syntax for this here. So where in telescope, you would just do um, dot cursor, you can just see here, um, there's the, that's what gives you the cursor relative box in telescope. It's slightly more convoluted, considerably more convoluted with FZF Lua. Um, but the key here is this FZF, um, the win options um, here. So you can see there I've got relative cursor, but it's not as simple as just putting that. You also need to tell it what height and width you want that window to be. Now inside the wiki, there's various um, snippets of code that will do things like based upon the height of your window and whatnot. I've done a very simple option here to use height and width, which my understanding of these is that they're a percentage of your NeoVim viewport height, if you like, and viewport width. So those are very simple um, ones. 
If you have a look in the description below, I've got a, uh, a link to my config file, so you can just go and grab those out of the um, the mappings file. That's where those are specified. And the same thing here, I've just got a slightly different one for code actions. I've got a, a wider width, just because typically they tend to be longer lines as opposed to spelling suggestions, which are typically quite short. But that's the only the difficult the only difficult part with swapping from Telescope to FZF Lua is for any of these cursor relative. Uh, mappings that you've got you just need to pay a little bit of attention to how you want those windows to be all the normal stuff that you could do with telescope you can still do an fzf lua so you can still um, like if we do uh, we could choose to press the tab key and um, you know choose a bunch of things there you can see that they're selected on the left and you can do um, it's alt and q in fzf lua is the shortcut to send it to your quick fix Obviously, you could change that to whatever you want. I also prefer the default in FZF Lua for scrolling the preview window, which is just shift and up and down. I think that's a bit more intuitive than, I think it's control U and control D in telescope to do the same sort of thing. There's also uh, a number of different previewers you can use. I'm just using the default one here, which is the NeoVim previewer. I think that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you don't have to do anything, it just uses that by default. There's other ones you can use like bat and such, but I've not really looked into that. But you can see it's absolutely comparable to telescope and again to reiterate nothing wrong with telescope it doesn't really give you anything more than telescope you can maybe get rid of a couple of plugins but i thought it was interesting how easily you can move from say telescope to f zf if fzf is what you're used to because all those same sort of shortcuts that you're used to on the command line of fzf you can use here in fzf lua so you know like your wild cards and things like that they all work just the same but inside of NeoVim. Okay, so that's it for that one. Just wanted to show you this comparable plugin for file pickers, previews, and all that sort of stuff using FZF Lua rather than Telescope. I'll see you again in the next one.